everybody welcome back to the channel thanks so much for being here if you don't already know who i am my name is callie and this video specifically is going to be all about running me and my sister jc are signed up to do the disney princess half marathon and it is on february 25th and today is january 25th this video is just going to be one month out and just our training till then. I was very consistent at the very beginning of this. My run training started um, October 24th. It was right after my birthday weekend. And I consistently trained for eight weeks. And, and that was our eight mile run was the last run we did. So we did eight miles uh, together, nonstop, which was a very big feat for us. Then it was the week before Christmas, Christmas. John surprised me with a trip to New York. Then beginning of the year, like <laughs> this whole week I planned on running, but it literally was raining nonstop for like three or four days. Today's the first day, it's not raining and last week it was snowing and ice so there's some excuses in there that are legit and then there's some that are just laziness so i'm gonna be real with you jc kind of has a knee injury she has jacked up knees right now so she's in physical therapy so she has a more legit excuse i did document every run on my nike run club so and then i put like notes with everyone yeah, let me screen record and I'll add these and then talk over it. Okay, so our first run, and you can see my improvement as I go. First run for half marathon training, feeling good, keep it up, no excuses. My first fart lick run, and it was really hard. I modified the two minute easy pace to one minute of walk, one minute easy pace, then into the one minute 5K pace. Run three is done and week one of training is done the run was difficult because it rained all last night and is super humid today and also i used the map my run app to plan my run and accidentally planned it to go through a construction site so the road was sus the hills in my neighborhood suck but i started my pier today and i also wore the wrong biker shorts and they kept rolling up which made me really annoyed while running <laughs> Run number five. Today was a better run. I felt confident. Still slow, but I'm recovering faster and pushing when I'm tired. I'm so glad I, docu I wrote all this down. Run number six. Long run number two. John ran the first two miles with me, then I ran the last on my own. I feel really good about the first half. I ran the first mile really easy. The second lap was harder because it was harder to catch my breath and my legs felt really tight and strained, so I did have to walk more than I wanted to. I ran farther without stopping than I had before with the hills and I only walked two times, slowly getting better. Number eight, my first hill workout. I liked it. I liked it. I do a lot better with intervals than straight running. I didn't want to start this run, but I love intervals and I feel great now. I missed my long run this weekend, so that's why this run is number nine. Feeling good, getting better, especially mentally. OMG, I just ran that entire run. What the heck? I love these guided runs and updates. I'm getting better every run. Yay, I'm exhausted now though, lol. <laughs> I'm so glad I have this written down. Guys, I highly recommend documenting these things. It's like a run log. Number 11, whoa, I ran the first 5K without stopping. I'm getting really good at controlling my breathing and thoughts. The second lap was harder for sure, but I didn't get to finish it because it got dark outside so quick, but still improving. I felt very bleh today, but I did it and it's done. Yay. My second run this week will be the turkey trot on Thursday sleigh. Also, I had to stop during one of those 45 second intervals because there was a lost dog that a family was asking me about. 13 turkey trot. Our first turkey trot and my first 5k race running without stopping. I need running sunglasses though. Me and JC ran the whole six and a half miles, no stopping, plus eating gummies. It was tough, and if JC didn't push me, I would have stopped, but that's half our distance done. So yeah, we were getting pretty consistent. I didn't feel like running, but I did it, and I'm glad it's over, but I'm still annoyed, lol. 
I'm about to start my period though, so that's probably why. <laughs> my hammies are sore, but I ran the whole time while on my period. I could only run two miles because I felt like I was about to poop my pants, so I had to hurry and walk home. 18. I feel like all of a sudden I'm getting heartburn. Anyways, this run was hard on my chest and my spit gets so thick it's annoying, but I ran the whole time and I feel like I'm getting a little faster with my average pace. 19. My mental strength hasn't been what it was at the beginning of my running journey, so it's been harder to get myself through these runs, but I'm pushing through. Me and JC ran around my neighborhood and the weather was perfect and I felt pretty good the whole time. My hips and hamstrings were bothering me when I got tired, but we ran the whole time, so thumbs up. Number 21. It was hotter than expected, so we kept shedding layers while running and there was a massive hill. Oh my god, it was terrible. But we are getting faster. Also, I had a stitch in my side for basically the whole second half of the race, but I was breathing through it. Number 22, this is the last run I did. Bitch, <laughs> I'm in pain. I wanted to walk a minute after five miles because my hips hurt so bad, but JC said no, so I kept on running. But damn, I'm hurt. <laughs> that was our eight mile run, and that was the last one we did. I do want to say that the people who know me know that I was the most anti-running person you could talk to. Back when I was a child and I played soccer in like the, the third and fourth grade, I hated running and I was always the slowest person on the team and I just always had the worst mindset when it came to running. So when me and JC decided last year that we were going to start running and being consistent with it it really did suck at first but one of the biggest things it teaches you besides like how to breathe and stuff like that is how to keep going even when you feel like you can't even when you think you're exhausted you just do and then after you do it you're like oh my god I just ran eight miles without stopping and I used to not be able to run a quarter of a mile without stopping. Like, it's insane. Now, the endurance is what we're mainly focusing on this time around. Uh, and we're not worried about our speed. We are both very slow and it is so great that we both actually run the same pace. So we're both super slow together. Um, maybe eventually we will start maybe like speed training a little bit, but just right now, this is our first half marathon, the longest run we've done ever, obviously. So we're just worried about running it, completing it, running as much as possible. We've been training with the Run Disney half marathon training program beginner version. They have it on their website and it's just like, breaks it down week by week what they want you to do and it's three ones three runs a week two 30 minute runs or short runs and then one long run so like our next long run will probably be nine and a half then 11 miles then 12 and a half and then race day so today is a thursday and I'm going to be doing a 30 minute run today. I'm going to find one on the Nike Run Club app. Because I really like the guided runs. Especially since I've been like a little bit weaker mentally. JC has gotten to a point where she like doesn't feel like she needs them. But I like to have Coach Bennett check in on me in my head. Let's do that and then we'll, we'll chat again when I get back. So... Run number one back is done. I'm gassed, but it wasn't that bad. 
I did do an, a speed run, an interval run, so I did get a little bit of walking, and I had a cool down walk, so that was good, but you know what? I am sweating, and my heart rate's up, but I do feel better. I do feel better after a run, which is it's pretty annoying. Sorry, guys, but I will keep you updated on all of our runs. I hope you follow along with our training journey and yeah i hope this inspires you to get out and go on a run hey guys back again um today is monday and i'm about to go on a run it's going to be a 30 minute interval or i think it's actually like 38 let's see 38 minute interval run and I do not want to go, but too bad. I got to. So I'm going to stretch, run, and check back in after. Alright, so I just got back from my run, and that was a mental struggle, but, you know, you really do feel better after, afterwards, I feel like it tells my brain, you can do hard things, and I'm sweating, and I know it's good for me, and I know I'm getting stronger every time, so it's done, now... I was super slow <laughs> and I got a stitch in my side, but I just worked on my breathing through it and everything, but it's done. So check back in for the next run. Um, I felt like this video is already getting a little bit boring, um, but I'm about to go on, an, on another run. It's Thursday. I'm doing a fartlek run. It's 22 minutes, but it's running the whole time. You know, nothing new. I really don't feel like doing it, but I'm going to anyways. Um, but I figured I'd show you how I stretch before I go run. That's why I have you angled down here. Anyways, this is how I stretch before I go run. This is what I like to do. Up dog, or wait, no, this is down dog. And I like to really focus on my calves. And then I'll kind of go back and forth. And then I'll go into a runner's lunge. And all this is like dynamic stretching, so you kind of want to move around in each position and just see what you feel like. Then I like to stretch my hamstrings, so just straightening the leg. And then I'll kind of go back and forth. I'm about to head out now. See you in 22 minutes. So I'm back from my run. I'm gassed. During this fartlek run, it was a five minute warm up, then intervals of one minute of um, hard running and one minute of easy running, and you don't get a break for like 22 minutes or whatever. And so. I have a hard time like 
doing a higher effort run because I feel like I need to conserve my energy and also I'm really slow anyway. So I was mainly just trying to focus on um, like my strides because I feel like that's where I can notice it. Like if I'm doing a, the harder run, I try to like make my strides longer. So I'm like running faster, further, I don't know. And then for my easy run, when I'm trying to recover, I'm like trying to do like very slow, small strides. So I did it. Me and JC will have to do our long run on Saturday. If it's not raining, then I guess we'll have to do it on Sunday. So wish us luck for that one, but I'll check back in then. Hey everybody. Well, last checked in yesterday for my run yesterday, but today is Friday and we're about to do our long run. The big one. The big one. So we really have three weekends. So this is gonna be our nine and a half. I'm just feeling like a light night and a half today. Yeah. Got the salty caramel. Highly recommend these. They're so good. Mine are, mine are very good too. This is vanilla. Very good. JC got salty caramel. I got these and I opened them up and smelt them. High fructose <laughs> corn syrup. I can't even eat it because it just smells. No, oh. get it away from the fan. It's, the flavor's orange it's blossom. It's glowing everywhere. It's making my eyes tear just thinking about how bad it smells. Also, we already did our, our workout this morning. This is just the second one of the day. And we planted our water. Did I already say that? I don't remember. But I also brought these. A lot of people say A lot of runners spit. say they have the same amount of something. Sugar and salt, maybe? These blocks, energy chews, tropical punch. I had some of the flavor before they really were good. I the margarita, it, you like no, this? No, no, no. I think I had strawberry. I don't really like those. Margarita. New flavor. I wish I brought the uh, pink lemonade ones. Um, but now we know. Steer clear of the orange blossom. Steer clear of the cherry cola. Steer clear of the margarita flavor blocks. Anyways, today is really my first day back at it. Me I'll tell them about it a little gives bit. Gives athlete that gives athlete. So basically, my inner thigh and some other muscle aren't that strong. So my kneecap was rolling in when I ran. So I have to keep it conscious. Yeah, she has. To but I've been like doing like and exercises and stuff at the house, like Pilates esque exercises. Um. I got the lady to take me this morning, so my knee's taped. So, I guess we're about to go. And I'll check in every few miles, probably. Our last run, like I said, eight miles, we ran the whole time. But I couldn't walk. Yeah. Literally. We're trying to not do a full run, even though we could if we wanted. We could. But we're intentionally not doing that. <laughs> we're not because we don't want to do it, not because we can't. Exactly. <laughs> So, we're going to be, um, I think our plan right now is to run three miles, walk a quarter of a mile. We're just scared. <laughs> we're killing time right now. Yeah. Couldn't tell. <laughs> okay. Check back in later. <laughs> Thank you. 
it on. We did it. Okay. It was a toughie. It was a toughie. Not in exertion, but in pain. In pain. That's that's the thing. My hips and then my hamstrings are the main thing that's really hurting me. JC's knee, both of them, actually. Is that the main thing hurting you? Just your knees? Is it really? Well, I guess it's not too bad. I, if it's you don't have like hips, hamstrings, and and it's seat. not as bad as it was at the eight miles that we did last time, which I guess I'll count that to the PT that I've been doing, and the rest that I gave her. Mm -hmm. Then let me. We did it. It's done. We didn't really get to nine and a half. We did basically we did nine, like miles. nine miles. And we did do some walking in there. Um, trying to be a little bit more strategic about it. Ew, why does it make that noise? Ew, I've never heard it do that. Hey everybody, it is now Monday. You last heard from us Friday from our long run. And I'm about to go on a run now. Anyways, for today I'm doing a interval run again. Hopefully working on my speed a little bit and it's gonna be 35 minutes. Let's get it done. Let's get it over with. It's like a little bit after lunch and I just wanna knock it out. All right, so I just got back and I felt pretty good the whole run. Um, the weather was nice. It's like mid 50s to 60s and I felt good. Positive mindset, breathing under control. Um, the only negative is I wore shorts and my thighs were rubbing together. So a little bit too much contact there, but overall positive for today. <laughs> so I will see you for the next run. Okay guys, back again. It's Thursday and I'm about to go on a 31 minute interval run. Um, it's pretty cloudy outside and I'm feeling kind of bleh, but I don't feel like too apprehensive about the run. So I'm just trying to knock this out. Oh, okay guys, I'm back. <clears throat> Number one, y'all should have told me, take the sweatshirt off. Y'all really should have told me that. And I probably would have listened. But, yeah, I definitely did not, did not need this on. Um, second of all, it wasn't that bad because the intervals and the rest was 90 seconds. So, you run at a certain pace for 90 seconds, rest for 90 seconds, so I was walking, and then repeat it like nine times. So that wasn't too bad. Also, while I was running, uh, this woman, like in her car, like came up behind me and slowed down. And she was like, your hair is so beautiful. And I was like, thank you so much. <laughs> and then that put a little extra pep in my in my step so that was really nice of her and I liked that a lot I am tired and I'm really hot mainly because of that sweatshirt so um tomorrow is Friday and we're working out in the morning and then me and JC are also doing our long run tomorrow too because again it's supposed to rain this weekend 11 miles tomorrow so I will keep you updated throughout that and Oh Lord, wish us luck. Wish us luck. Well, well, well. Here we are again. One week later. I still saw them as, yesterday. I would talk to them scared. yesterday. <laughs> I'm talking about the, Oh. She has to keep up with me, so she has to do extra. Yeah. Well, it is Friday, and we are about to do our 11-mile run. We're going to eat our snacks first. Salted caramel. Pink lemonade gummies. I already took some pre-workout, which I never have. My heart is going doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Okay, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> sure. We're gonna check in every few hours. I mean every few miles. <laughs> I'll check yeah. in every few miles and 
that hurt. It'll be, it'll be fine. It'll be good. It'll be literally easy. No big deal. But we should do our intentional walking again. Yeah, but no stopping. Okay, I was just trying to stretch. I'm for looking a at somebody. No, but no stopping. I didn't stop. I was just. And also, to you're slow walking. We can't do that. Yeah, you're right. I was thinking no. maybe at the end, towards the end, we should try a mom fast-paced walk. Okay, so let's do this. Hopefully, we can do it quick. It, it won't be. <laughs> Okay, we're okay, gonna go we're right gonna... now. <laughs> we're gonna go right now. Like, right, right now. Now. now? <laughs> Nevertheless, she persists. She persists. <laughs> How we done? How we done? Woo! This is not fun today. No, we're struggling today, but we're at five miles. And we're modifying from 11 to 10. So. judging us get off the couch get off the YouTube and go on a run <laughs> this never happens where I'm in the front her tummy's hurting her what do you have to say for yourself <laughs> I'm just a little girl <laughs> womp womp okay guys we're gonna be honest with you that was not it and we did basically walk the whole time, and, but we did go to 10. We probably ran four miles. I'd say. We were in the first two for sure, and we ran a, good a little bit, and then a little bit, so. Maximum five. <laughs> yeah. If, if so. that, so. But you know what? There's good days, and there's bad days, and it's just. And we've really had good days until now. Truly. Yeah. We've come so far. But we did go the full distance and our pace was like a 20 minute mile. So if we just have to be a 16 minute mile, I think we'll be fine. I feel fine. We hit 10 miles today. I don't care if it was walking. Yeah, we, but we were trying to walk a little. We were, yeah, we were like mom walking. Yeah, <laughs> but it's fine. So we're back and it is Friday night and we are doing our long run bright and early tomorrow. We're simulating our <coughs> are you done <coughs> we're gonna be getting up simulate. super early tomorrow to run as close to as race day as possible Boring. so we're gonna be getting up at like four and then starting our run at like 6.30 because when we get there, it'll be 5.30. So an hour later, no, wait. Yeah. An hour later, there. It's not making <laughs> sense. Hold on, hold on, I had to figure it out. Hold on, it's like, because right okay so it's 7 30 here okay wait if if it's race eight no, but wait, no. oh wait no it's the other way <laughs> around i was gonna say if it's if it starts at 5 30 there then it'd be 4 30 here <laughs> Damn, okay we, we got to wake up at like three, three. then we gotta get to bed Bye. we gotta get our breakfast stuff set out and whatever what are you gonna do for breakfast oatmeal and i bet you didn't give me enough i did get you an apple okay Oatmeal and apple and a Nature Valley Girl bar. That'll hold me good. Then I'll probably do the same thing, but with um, the bars that I like. So we're going to set up our, as much tonight as we can. 
I'm gonna be running in my race We're outfit. We're wearing our race outfits. <clears throat> this is the see? Nun N U U N. You see sport that hydration. smells normal. Yeah. There's no mm. hint of like. Can we see yeah. That's pink lemonade for sure. Yeah. There's no hint of like the nastiness that's in every other thing you try when you're trying to find stuff that you like. I went ahead and downloaded our and mine's purple. guided run for tomorrow. I need to add some more songs to my friend playlist. Okay, so did we talk about everything? We're getting up early. We're eating our breakfast. We're wearing our outfits. We're running 12 and a half miles. We're 20K. We're gonna see that sunrise. And I guess that's all. So, see you bright and early in the morning. Um, bro, what? 6 a.m. You can't even see. I'm placing a water bottle there. You can't see. <laughs> it's the middle of the night. And the sun's just now coming up. We got up at like four. I we got up at three. Yeah. I misunderstood the assignment. Yeah, well, we really got up at four, and I thought we were gonna go run at 5 30. But then JT said six. But then the sun isn't coming out it's until not, just about yeah, now. So. so yeah, when we were putting our water bottles out, it was pitch black and also freezing. It is really cold outside. So we have our race day outfits on, but we're probably going to stay in the sweatshirt. It's, it's cold. It says it feels like 29, so that'll add another fun layer to our training today. Yeah, and I have shorts on, so I'm pretty cold. Yeah, just really excited to get this knocked out. Because for me, this is the last run for race day. <laughs> I'm done. I'm not doing no more. Yeah, I didn't do any runs this week because we did. I simply have the time. And then we also work out at least three days a week anyways. I was going to, but then I was like, I just do so much. Yeah. I need to break. This is how this runs when they go. <laughs> mental thing than physical 100% I mean yeah so I mean, if you want to do this get, get your mind right because it's not physically literally what the mind is is like you just got to get up and go even if you don't want to that's really all it is after a few miles in you kind of get to where you're like it's not that bad like I kind of enjoy it but I don't think mental toughness is like, I want to do it. It's like, I'm going to do it anyways. Get that cold air. Ew, that's the worst. It's cold. And it's windy too. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh, bare legs. Yeah. Should we go home? <laughs> don't say it. Come back later. I just might. No, because we already feel... We already no, we're so not. Much. Oh no, I thought you were joking. I'm not coming back. I wouldn't I come back. I know, I'm joking. <laughs> All right, well, see ya. Okay, bye. It's cold. It's literally so cold. 25 mile per hour winds. Winds? I'm like, my ears already hurt. We just got out of the car. Just got out of the car. We have to modify. And I'm in freaking shorts right now. Half by half. No. I, I don't, don't even know, know if you can hear me the wind. I don't even know if I can I'm so scared of this. 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 I'm so scared of I'm about to go
you're chasing. We're gonna run something. We already ate, we got all, we did so much. <clears throat> no, we're gonna run a little bit. We're gonna run a little bit. 30 minutes, I'm gonna give you 30 minutes. I cannot do anymore. Okay. It is literally so cold though, it's not even funny. It's, it's not good. So you can see that the wind is blowing. <laughs> 15 one way, 15 back. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe we'll run a little fast. Yeah. This is interval training. Well, I mean, not interval, but like speed training. We're gonna do 30 minute run, but we will have to run this week. Okay. Can y'all hear this? I want a pill to school. Both ways. This like isn't even funny. If I could put a thermometer on my legs right now, it's not even funny. Everything is like pulsing. Mm -hmm. We might as well have skied down a mountain with no clothes on. Ooh, I'm, I'm Honestly, literally not exaggerating. I'm, we're not. Skiing down a mountain, I can do it in just a t-shirt. Like a long because shirt. Don't know about anybody else watching this. This is the south. It's always humid. So it's it the feels water. like little icicles. It's like a 70 what something percent humidity today. Yeah. I said the dew point is like 28 degrees or something. So that's how it feels. It's 28. God. But like a cold, wet 28. Yeah, not not, not a it's not, not a the same. Dry 28 where it's like you could still be out there. Yeah. Huh. So we The wind was literally pushing us back. We did not hit our long run today. We just did a short run. So we're going to do a bunch of like normal runs for the week instead to make up for it. And on Saturday, when we're at Disney, I'm going to do like a five. An easy five. But my legs feel like needles. I don't like this. Okay, enough complaining. We're going home. <laughs> well, that we thought that that was going to be the last run until the race day, but it's not. <laughs> running vlog just so you know just so you have all the facts we did not go on another run after the, what you just saw that was our final run i'm feeling okay about it we still worked out two times last week yeah i did go on a walk though so. um but we weren't just sitting around honey eating chips on the couch yeah yeah it's gonna be fine I mean, you're not looking to us for like full inspiration. No, we're just taking just, you along we're, our we're journey. We're just regular people. We're just regular folk. <laughs> but the race is tomorrow. We just got here to Disney. We have to go pick up our race bibs. We have to pick up our race bibs today. And tomorrow morning we'll be up bright and early. This is so cute. And so Disney, you understand if you don't say Disney. They came by, dropped off, embossed Disney stationery with like basically like Thank you for letting us host, whatever, host you, host our run. Uh, and they gave us like little waters, like personalized touch. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna end this video here and then do a race specific one. Yeah. Cause this was our training video. So I hope you learned something. At the least you could learn what not to do. Yeah. But we'll, in our in the next video i will will update you on if we scraped by training was which i think we did i think we'll be fine yeah um tonight i'm eating okay. italian to carb up for energy it's all up in the air for me and we have our breakfast stuff with us but we'll vlog all that tomorrow so so Thanks so much for watching. Our view. Wish us luck, and we'll send you out on a on our view here. Can you even see it? Can, oh, there you go. There you go.